Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. You know how yesterday was the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation? The very first one, and how I said in yesterday's video that we should treat it more like Remembrance Day rather than just another holiday, and that that would be a really bad thing to do. Do we really want this to just become another Canada Day and a statutory holiday of, okay, well, you know, last, you know, day off, so last real day for barbecuing or summer weather, whatever it may be. I really don't think that's what any of us want to happen. Well, apparently Canada's returning Prime Minister Justin Trudeau decided to do just that. The man had the audacity to reject invitations from indigenous leaders and communities in BC, both in Kamloops and elsewhere in the province. He rejected their invitations to literally fly over their heads to Tofino, BC to surf. If someone went to the cottage or went skiing or went down to Aruba on vacation on November 11th, they would be persona non grata in this country. And yet, here is our Prime Minister, the man who's supposed to lead this country, going out and just deciding, you know what? I know I've really tried to uh, make this holiday happen and tell people reconciliation is super important to this government, and I am going to expose that for the liberal performative art that it is right here on the very day that it's happening. <laughs> the particularly damning part about all of this is that Trudeau's daily itinerary initially stated he was in, quote, private meetings in Ottawa. It was later updated to note he was in Tofino. So in other words, they like hoped to lie. And if not, then it also says a lot about, oh, well, look, you know, I was going to talk with people on the phone on the way there or the next day or something. It's, dude, we this is basically a new version of Remembrance Day. And here you are doing the one thing I said, we should not let this become just another vacation day. And, oh, last you know weekend of summer. And yet here it is happening by our own fucking prime minister. Like, oh my God. And yet there's still liberal partisans defending the indefensible on social media. This is honestly just so wild to me right now. On a day meant to recognize the trauma that we have inflicted on indigenous people and the long road to reconciliation that needs to happen, while we also still push to the back of our fragile minds the fact that over 6,000 unmarked graves have been found at residential schools. Amidst all this and what's supposed to be a solemn and somber day of reflection and education. And here is our prime minister, the man chosen to lead this country. And he's doing this. Really? And liberal partisans have the audacity to defend him? This is indefensible. There's no ground to stand on here. And we know he didn't want to stand on any ground because he's a liberal and also he really wanted to go surf on the West Coast, apparently. It couldn't have waited a day or two. I know, you know, world leader schedules are very tight, but, you know, really? On such a new and important and auspicious and solemn occasion... You couldn't delay this by 24 fucking hours. It is ridiculous and shameful and he should be embarrassed about himself. But then again, this is the guy who did blackface on numerous occasions, so I highly doubt that. It is just so reinforcing to the unfortunate reality of people will say, oh, look, we care about reconciliation and we want to move forward on it. And then stuff like this happens right out the gate. You know, yeah, it's a good start, but oh god, it's like step one across a journey through the Sahara Desert. In a way, this is peak liberalism. This is peak liberalism in the sense of they will say something that they really 
want you to believe is true. You know, oh, we care about the homeless and we care about poor people. And of course, my heart breaks for indigenous children. And uh, that's why reconciliation is actually very important to me and my family. Oh, and by the way, Black Lives Matter. You know, the, the typical stuff, they will say all the right things, but it's just performative, right? We saw this with a lot of the token actions that were taken last year in 2020 with BLM as a relevant example. We're gonna put this real big Black Lives Matter mural all across a big major street. Cool, what we're actually asking for, for police to stop murdering us, so if you could defund the police and hold them criminally accountable, that'd be nice. Okay, okay, um... What, okay, we'll, we'll get rid of Aunt Jemima. Is, is that acceptable? I want the police gone because they're racist. Right, right. Okay, so um, best I can do is nothing. That's basically what all of this is. We saw with BLM and unfortunately, I'm being proven right already, we are seeing it with reconciliation too. Oh yeah, reconciliation. Well, look, we've already done such good work. I mean, like, look, we're finding graves and now we have this day. So, you know, already the leader of our country has done the thing that I explicitly warned against in like the first minute of yesterday's video about how we should not start treating this like a vacation. And already he has set a terrible example. And already I'm just getting the feeling that, yeah, sure, this is a step forward in the right direction, but a lot of Canadians unfortunately aren't going to care. And they never have really. They never have and they never will. And that's what's bothering me today.